Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be testing out these Dashing Diva uh, nail strips. I've never tried them before. Well, kind of, I've kind of tried them before. I ended up picking up four sets. D I didn't need to, but I got them on sale during their uh, Cyber Monday sale, I believe it was. So I ended up getting like two something dollars off these and then like three something dollars off this. And they're already, already only like six or seven dollars. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give these a go. I'm going to show the application process, all of the above. And I also plan on doing a little bit of a wear test showing you how long they actually last on these nails right here. So before we get started, don't forget I'm uploading every single solitary day this month. I'm super, super excited about that. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And learn that, if you're excited and you want to see, I don't know, my first time trying these babies out, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now this isn't like the cutest thing to look at. I'm at my desk here, but I had to put the towel down because between my like desk lights and then the ring light I have right here, it was like reflecting off my glass desk. So sorry, it's not like the most appealing thing to look at. I am not going to lie. I don't have high hopes for these and I don't mean that bad on Dashing Diva. I mean that because my nails just truly are awful and nothing ever sticks to them. If you can tell they're like super peely and they just literally I can put nail polish on and that afternoon by the afternoon it is chipped off or I can get them done professionally and in like two days it's chipped off and coming off. They just like reject anything I ever put on them. So we'll see how these wear. Like I said, I plan on doing a little bit of a wear test showing you um, how long they actually wear on my nails. I've heard that people say they can get like 14 days out of this, so. We shall see. The reason why I'm not showing you my face or anything is because it is like eight o'clock here at night. My best friend Hannah loves these and she told me a tip was to do them like right before bed so they really adhere to your nails overnight. So you're not like washing your hands or doing dishes or you know, beating them up and they can really like adhere during night. So that's what we're doing. It is like eight o'clock at night. I have my skincare done. My glasses are on. I'm in my jammy jams, comfy and cozy, ready for bed in a couple hours. So I ended up picking up this one right here, which is a uh, teddy bear. It's like a really cute brownie sort of shade. I also picked up this one, which is called dark olive, which looks black, but it's actually like a really dark green. And then I picked up this one, which is lake house, which is a really deep, uh, like navy blue and then I also got this set because how fun is that like that's so stinking cute and this is um I don't know I don't see a name on this anywhere but it's just um this cute little set so I figure I'm gonna try out one of these first and if I like them hopefully I can wear this set over Christmas because I just think that's so cute I'm trying to debate which of these I want to try I definitely don't think I want to do the navy tonight do I wanna do green or do I wanna do brown? I think I wanna try out the green. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the green today, which is a dark olive. So I did go ahead and buy some things. I watched some videos on how to apply them and got some tips from other people, as well as my best friend Hannah, who wears them all the time. So I picked up this cuticle thing that's supposed to push your cuticles back. I've never, I'm not gonna lie, I've never done that in my life. I've had it like professionally done, but I myself have never done that. And then I also got these alcohol prep pads that you're supposed to clean your nails with. So was it over? kill that I bought a hundred pads yeah for sure but they didn't have any smaller than this and you can also use these for like cuts and wounds and that kind of stuff so obviously I these will always come in handy well hopefully not always because hopefully you're not always cutting yourself and need to clean them but I'm going to push my cuticles back first I guess and then I'll clean them and then we'll get started on this portion of like applying them so I don't know really what I'm doing also I feel like this was not smart to um do this for the first time do i use this side what is this thing i don't want to hurt myself hmm okay anyways i feel like this was not smart to do this for the first time on camera because i'm going to be having to do it over the camera the whole time i'm like watching through the camera and not actually like me doing it that was definitely not smart of me Hmm. All right, so this seems like this is gonna take a while and is pretty tedious. So I'm gonna go do this off camera and I'll be right back. I very much did not like that process of using this tool to push my cuticles back. That was not very fun, but you know what? We are here, cuticles are pushed back. I'm gonna take this little alcohol prep um, pad thingy-majig clean off my nails they said that this all of the videos i watched well two i watched two but both of them said this was a really important step to just really clean your nails and make sure there's no excess oil on your nails all right 
Okay, so nails are clean. I guess we get into this puppy and I don't really know. Oh, there's tape. You guys, I got my nails done over the summer, like professionally, right? I went to a nail salon. I forget what I did. I wanna say I got, is this necessary? What is this? I wanna say I got, oh, they give you an alcohol prep thing. Oh shoot, should I use theirs too? I'm gonna use theirs too. That's probably overkill. My nails are probably like, uh, please don't. Um, anyways, I don't remember what I got. I don't remember if I got shellac maybe or dip, but I'm not kidding you within like two days. My, that's an exaggeration, maybe like three or four. My nails were like completely, um, chipped and I peeled it off and I ruined my nails for months. Ew, that made my fingers really sticky. I did not enjoy that. Okay. So it comes with this. Um, let's open this baby up. We're learning together guys. Cause I really don't know what's happening. All right. So you get these and then these, so you get a bunch of different sizes. Oh, you can really see the green now that it's out. Ooh, cute. So you get a bunch of different sizes and it does come with a nail file, which is awesome. I have watched videos, like I said, and I did like look this over. So this is the instructions in case you want to pause and read it. But um, yeah, oh, pro tip, use a tweezer to lift strip from sheet more easily. Do I have tweezers? Oh, I do, look. <laughs> tweezers okay maybe i'll have to use those Alrighty. anyways what i'm gonna do now i guess i'm going to cut like i'm gonna try to size them to my fingers because you need to like obviously pick the one that matches your fingernails the best both the videos i watched said it's better to go smaller than larger um in case you are you know in between sizes because you don't want it to touch your skin at all or they will obviously peel off so i'm going to go ahead and figure out what sizes i need yeah, and then I'll be back. <laughs> Alrighty, so I think I picked the best ones that I thought would match my nails the best. So I've got pinky, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, thumb. But now I just have like all these other random ones that I don't think would like fit me very well. So I know you're supposed to be able to like use these more than once, like use a set more than once, but I clearly picked out the ones I thought would fit me the best the first time around. And then none of these are the same size as these. Does that make sense? So I'm like, I guess the second time I wear them, I'm just going to have to go with ones that don't fit me as well. I don't really know. So this is for my left hand here. My right hand is off to the side. You guys, I'm not even thinking about my right hand right now because I am right-handed. So to apply them with my left hand, I'm worried about that. So we're just going to do all of my right hand, or I'm sorry, my left hand on camera. And then I'll probably do this one off camera because I feel like that'll be interesting. My friend Hannah also told me to do the thumb last, or I saw that in a video remember which one so I guess I'm gonna try the pinky first yeah I'm gonna try the pinky first because I feel like that one will be um I don't know like the easiest maybe oh I'm nervous okay so I also heard you don't want to touch the part that's going to touch your nail but luckily my nails are pretty short so if I peel it from like this back portion it should fit me all right let's try this oh no okay oh they're definitely pretty sticky can you see that? Okay. This was not smart to do for the first time. All right. Oh no, it's crooked. Oh shoot. Oh, this one's not gonna stick well. Crap, it's crooked. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay, hold on, let me do this off camera. Okay, I got it stuck on. I also think that I picked one that was, oh yeah, way too small. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, well, ugh. I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, so then I set her, and then I watched to bend it, and you're supposed to, Oh, wrong side. Um, file it until it comes off. Yeah, so you just file it. All right. Hmm. So I definitely picked one that was too small. If you can see, there's a huge gap. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Um, all right. One down. I'm just going to really press it on there, I guess. Let really me make sure it's on there. I mean, it feels pretty secure. Well, now I'm like questioning all my other pickings. Like, are all the other ones gonna be too small too? Cause my pinky was way too small, you know what I mean? Like, is this gonna be way too small? I feel like it probably is going to be, but we're just gonna go with it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna peel this one. I'm not using the tweezer, like I said. And we're going to put it on here. How do I do this for you? <laughs> you can see it and I can see it, all right. Oh shoot, okay. I'm just gonna put it on there. Okay, really push it down. 
All right, now I'm going to file, file, file. I also heard you want to file in one direction, like down. Yeah, so it comes off, okay. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, that's pretty nice. All right, I think I'm gonna do these two fingers and then I'll come on and do the thumb and show you where what we're looking like then. Okay, so I definitely messed the index finger up. If you can see, I don't know if you can really tell, it like bunched up here. Yeah, and it's not fully flat, but at that point I was already like pushing down before I realized it and then it just kind of is, it is what it is. So if this one like doesn't stay on very well and peels off within the next like day or two, I'm not going to fault that because I, I messed that up. So now let's do the last one, the thumb. I actually don't think that my right hand will be too difficult if I'm being honest. It doesn't seem like that hard of a process. I think placing it might be kind of hard because again, I'm right handed. So you really just gotta push out the bubbles, I guess. Yeah, and then I heard to push it over like this so it'll help it stick. I don't like the filing. I don't know, I've never really enjoyed filing my nails or like when I get them done and they file them for me. I just don't like that feeling. So like, this is probably my least favorite part. Oh, I probably shouldn't have ripped it off like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this one's gonna stay on very well either. I kind of messed that one up too. Shoot. Okay, well, Emily, give yourself some grace. It's your first time applying it, but you know what? I don't think that looks that bad. I kind of like it. I think I think it looks cute. All right, I'm gonna go do my right hand. Wish me luck <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, the right hand actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Ugh, look at my poor little dry, crusty hands. Ugh. Okay, so this really wasn't as hard as it was as I thought it was going to be. I messed up the index finger again. It's like all crinkly, so, uh, and the thumb. So yeah, I mean, this it was definitely harder to do than this hand, but not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I definitely chose the ones that were like way too small in this hand as well. So I... I don't have high hopes that this is going to actually last 14 days on me um, only because A, my nails suck and they just reject everything and B, I definitely think I've had some user error in applying these, but it's my first time. I'm trying to give myself some leeway, some grace and um, you know, realize that it's okay. If you mess it up the first time, it's not going to be perfect. So if they don't last, um, you know, it's fine. But yeah, that was actually really easy if I wasn't filming myself. Like, this hand took way less time than this hand because I wasn't filming myself and I could just do it rather quickly. So it's nice that it's super easy. It was pretty intuitive. Um, like, I, I mean, I just watched a video or two or like I said, it comes with, you know, these instructions in case you don't have YouTube or you don't want to watch YouTube video. This one is going to drive me nuts because it's like got like a little lip there. Ooh, that's gonna drive me insane. Um, I did also see on a video that this girl put on gel polish afterwards and put it under the light and let it cure. That definitely would be a good idea to, you know, make these last. I d don't have like a device or polish like that to do that. Um, so that's just an option in case you wanted to try these out. But yeah, so that really wasn't that bad. Um, I'm hoping you're enjoying this video so far. I wanted to give a little bit different content here on Vlogmas, um, other than like get ready with me is end of the year, get ready with me end of the year, you know, video. So I'm hoping you're liking this so far. Like I said, I want to do a little bit of a wear test and just kind of show these over the next couple of days and show how well they last, how well they wear and all of that. So this is night one looking pretty good. I like how shiny they are. I like that green shade. I think it's a really pretty shade. I know it's like, it looks, honestly, it looks black on camera, but in person, it really is just like a really deep, like foresty dark green. So this is what it looks like on night one. I'll probably show you at the end of tomorrow in the next couple of days and just hopefully they last and hopefully I like them, but oh man, yeah, they're like bunchy. I like just messed up applying them. That's going to drive me nuts. So if they chip because I'm messing with them, Again, user error, that's my fault. But yeah, that was easy, I liked them. So I will be back in a few seconds for a little bit of an update. Alrighty, day one check. They look pretty good. I mean, it's really annoying that they're not completely down all the way, like that little bunch there, but that was my fault for when I applied them. But so far they look really good and polish would have definitely been chipped on me by now. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I will check in again. On day two. Okay, it's day two. So I've had these on for exactly two days straight. I'm not going to give you an update every single solitary day because that would be redundant, especially if 
they don't change. However, I want to come on and show you day two that they haven't changed because I'm extra excited because your girl just took a shower. And I mean like hair washing, scalp scrubbing, all up in my scalp, scrubbing the heck out of it, shower. And he did not chip at all. And I have never once had polish on my nails through a shower that didn't chip. Now, I know this is not polish, obviously, but that's what I'm comparing it to. This one looks like it's about to chip, like maybe it did a tiny, tiny bit. And then this one maybe did a tiny bit. But other than that, like these look so stinking good, especially compared to polish. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and show you that they even held up through a shower. Again, I don't plan on showing you an update every single solitary night. So I will come back on and show you when I do have an update, when they finally do like fully chip. So see you then. Alrighty guys, I'm just gonna give you my final update here today. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. So I've had these on for a week now, a whole week. And I have done everything, <laughs> lived my life, showered, opened things, you know, done all the things. And they look so stinking good. Obviously, they are a little bit chipped, like a tiny bit, and they are growing out. But I am shook with how long these have looked good on my nails. Like, I was not anticipating them looking this good, honestly, lasting at all. Like, this one is the worst one right here because it is a tiny bit chipped. But other than that... I think they look so stinking good. Obviously, this is not polished, but I the whole point of this is that I was trying to debate if this was worth it because it is so much more expensive than polish. These are like, what, $7 for a pack and you can maybe get two uses out of it where, you know, you can buy like a bottle of polish and that will last obviously for a very, very long time and give you way more than two, you know, uses. However, Polish chips on me in like three seconds, <laughs> like literally a day. So the fact that these lasted for at least a week and I, I'm not even done, like I'm not going to take them off yet, but I just kind of wanted to wrap the video up so I can finish editing it and get it uploaded for you guys. But like, I just, I honestly, I am surprised. I genuinely thought that these were going to start chipping or peeling off within a day or two. Like I really honestly did. I've had absolutely no issues and there's been so many times where I've op gone to open something and been like, oh yeah, there's no way that these, this is chipped and it didn't. Like I am so incredibly impressed by these. I am so excited. I cannot wait to keep wearing them. I think I'm going to keep this green shade on for another couple of days and then I'm going to take them off and put on that fun like Santa-y christmas -y set that I bought. Um, and I'm going to wear those for like the two weeks of Christmas and New Year's and all of that. So I will go ahead and like leave a pinned comment or up, no, I'll update my description box of how the removal process is. I don't entirely know how that's going to go. I think you just put like a little bit of acetone on a cotton ball and like put it down here and then it starts to peel off and then you can just peel it off and it's supposed to not mess up your nails or anything. And then I'm going to put the other new set on. So I will update the description box when that happens. It'll be a few days after this gets uploaded because like I said, I want to keep these on for a few more days. I don't even need to, like I don't need to take them off I'm only taking them off because I have that Santa E Christmas set that I want to apply instead you know what I mean so I am thoroughly impressed I'm so stinking excited about these I cannot wait to keep wearing them and buy more colors and try more out obviously I'll keep you updated if my mind changes and for some reason I end up not liking them or anything like that but as of right now I am so impressed with how well they're wearing how well they have held up and all of that like I am just shook like truly truly so excited so happy that it worked out this well. So let me know down below. Have you tried Dashing Divas or are you going to now that you saw this video? I would love to know what your experience are with them if you have tried them or not. But yeah, other than that, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And I want to see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye guys.